Megan K here. You should really see the outtakes for these videos. They're super funny. Maybe we'll share them if you need a good laugh. Um, today's workout, we've got 50 seconds of strength, 10 seconds of cardio, 40 of strength, 20 seconds of cardio, and then 30 and 30. Um, just five exercises, but then we're gonna offer you three different choices for your cardio. Um, at a minimum, pick two of them. I'm not gonna expect that you're necessarily gonna do all three, but definitely pick at least two of them. So I'm gonna show you this with and without weight and kind of talk you through how you might improvise it. So the first exercise is gonna be your one arm or two arm press. If you have two dumbbells, go ahead and press two at the same time. If you don't, make sure after you've done about six or seven reps, you do a quick change across your body, please, and across your face with that dumbbell and get that other side going. If you have something heavy that you're improvising with, like heavy books or a backpack, that's gonna be a press that's just gonna look like this. All right, the second exercise is your clock lunge. Now, you do not need to get all the angles of the clock, but for sure, get your front lunge, your side lunge, your reverse lunge, and then that other side, okay? Um, also very helpful if you remember it, to get in your curtsy lunge as well, all right? But in the clock lunge, we do come out at different angles. We wanna make sure that we're just letting our knees dictate where we're going with the lunge, okay? Because if you are taking care of any sore knees, just make sure that you're not doing any angles that are making your knees feel uncomfortable or worse. That's a clock lunge. Crab crawl. Now, I hear a lot of times that this one bothers people's shoulders. So if you are in that boat, all I want you to really work on is a big lift, okay? You might even get to a point where you lift your hips. Maybe then you're gonna add in some motion forward and back. You don't need much space because you can take this lateral, forward, back. You can take it in a little circle. We used to call it like a drunk crab when the crab would be kind of going everywhere. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. Next movement is your sky crunch. All right, you're going to hold something, anything, dumbbell, kettlebell, heavy purse, arms are straight up, and you're lifting up, crunching up. This is not a huge range of motion. Basically what we're looking to do, bring that top rib down toward the hip bones, okay? Or up rather toward the hip bones. And that is it. One other cue for that one, if you have a sore, stiff neck, abandon the weight and lightly support your head, okay? Because these muscles in the back of the neck tucker out pretty quickly. And I would rather you support your head than put any extra strain or pressure on the neck right now. Last, but certainly not least, in those five exercises is your inchworm. All right, so from here, gonna walk those hands out as far as you can. Walk the feet in and up. If you wanna change it up, you could always start coming backward. Again, depending on how much space you have, because I don't know about you, but you might not have a really long hallway to be going in, twirling around. Now, your cardio options. So again, 50, 10, 40, 20, 30, 30. You got jump shots to start. It's a little hop. Just imagine you're shooting your basket. Second one is gonna be your Charlie Chaplin. And the third one is the Heisman. All right, so you wanna make sure you have enough space to take it out to one side. Really get a good crunch in. Bring that uh, top of the body in toward the thigh. Also using the elbow for the Heisman. And that is it. Have fun with this one. See you later.